Welcome everybody, Kevin here from Helpful Tutorial. This week in App of the Week, we're going to go over the actual App Store. So you can know how to go ahead and get these apps that we're always talking about. And I'm going to go ahead and teach you everything about it. So let's go ahead and just jump right into it and let's tap on the App Store. It's going to bring you to your first screen, which is today. So this is mainly more of like blog posts that will show you what's going on in the App Store. Here you can learn to code at any age and get started with that. They have connect with your team, like walkie talkies, uh, game of the day, everything like that. So there's a lot of different things available here in this area. You also have a portrait of a person in the top right. We'll go ahead and tap on that. And this is going to bring up your information. If you're ever looking for something you've purchased and you have a different phone or you just deleted it, you can always go ahead and choose purchase and it'll go through and show you what you've purchased. You can also search at the top if you want something specific and you can find it that way. Other options they have here are personalized recommendations. They also have managed subscriptions. If you do any monthly reoccurring billing, this is where you would go to cancel it. You can redeem gift cards or codes. If you tap on there, it'll take you in. You can actually click use camera and just take a picture of the code on the back of the gift card and it'll automatically enter the code for you. Another option here is send a gift card by email and also add funds to Apple ID. So if you want to send a gift card to someone by email, you just tap on that. You choose the amount and then you fill out the email address, name and a short message. And then you go ahead and send the gift card and they'll receive it. Nice little way to gift if you miss someone's birthday and you still want to kind of give them something nice. Across the bottom next we have games, we'll go ahead and tap on that. Here you're going to get award winning games at the top, basically what is really hot right now. They're usually looking for stuff that's very visual. And you also have your popular games first, then the essential game picks, new games we love, and then you get into like top five games this week. And then big updates, you can always also slide to the top or hit see all if you want to go ahead and see all of the items there. What we've played today, and then there'll be like more games that you like. And it'll go through and just have more and more categories. And then when you get to the bottom, this is what you used to see, which is the top free games right now and the top paid games. So if you're looking for anything that's trending, this is kind of where you'd want to go. Again, you can go ahead and hit see all. For example, we'll hit it on top free and then you'll be able to see all the top free games and you'll be able to go through and get them and play them. Pretty cool. Then we'll go ahead and go back to games and that's the end of games. Then we have at the bottom, you're going to have everything you had in the portrait area where you can redeem gift cards, send gift cards or add money. And you're going to also have that at the bottom of the apps too. Let's go ahead and tap on apps. And here it's going to be the same display, but this time instead of games, it's going to be apps, which are more things that will help you through your daily routine. Uh, it could be anything like a to do list here, wake out, solo learn, coding for kids. And then again, top free and top paid apps. It's pretty funny. Top free apps. Google Maps is number three. And you keep scrolling down and great on Apple Watch. That's cool. They have that there. Editor's choice. Master your first 5K. Some cool things. And then after that, you'll get to the bottom like I mentioned. Next would be updates. If you go to updates, you're going to show what has recently been updated on your phone and you can always click more and read more about it. If it's not showing anything, you want to pull down from time to time. Sometimes more will pop up. If you have automatic updates set up, they may just update automatically. Finally, if you're just searching for something, you go ahead and hit search. And again, it'll have the top trending categories. You go ahead and type what you're looking for. Go ahead and search and you will find what you're looking at. 
Now, if we go back to, say, games and King of Thieves. So if we wanted this, we would tap on here. We would wait a moment and then it would download. If you have Face ID and it costs money or anything like that, you would need to go ahead and purchase it. We're gonna go ahead and cancel that because it's not a game I wanna play anymore. But I just wanna kinda of show you all you have to do is hit get and then you'll get it. If it says a price, that is what you pay. When you pay that price, 30% goes to Apple and 70% goes to the per person that made that game or app. In here we'll also see like with WWE Universe, it'll say under get in-app purchases. That basically means it's free to get, but there's going to be updates inside the app that cost money. So it's up to you if you want to go ahead and use them or not, but if you do, there is going to be a price. I really hope this did help you out. If you are interested, I'm going to go ahead and link some other videos that you may enjoy from the app of the week. And thank you so much for the view.